Hey everyone, welcome back to another Premise Log episode. My name is Jonathan, and today what I'm going to do is show you a super quick way for you to activate one modal using more than one element. So the idea here would be that if you have, let's say, some terms on your monthly pricing, this $19 a month is just for, let's say, a 12-month contract, then you could explain that in this terms and conditions. So if I click that, then it's going to activate this modal. But let's say you want this content to appear more than once. Instead of adding a bunch of different modals and triggering it with each element's ID, what you can do is just simply add a class to each of these items, and then the same modal is going to trigger whenever you click each of those text elements. So this is really simple to achieve. As you can see, you're basically just adding a class and setting that modal's trigger to be that class. So let's move over here into my Oxygen Visual Editor, and you'll notice that I have just a simple text element instead of the text link, because if you use the text link, then what happens is it tries to redirect you to destinations that don't exist. So the best way to do this is just to use a simple text element. The first thing we're gonna do is assign a class to this text element. So what I'm gonna do is just call this like, let's say terms trigger or something like that. And then I'm gonna add a text color using my global green that makes it look kind of like it has some sort of interactivity. And then let's set a hover green that is just some kind of darker version of that green. So now if we go back to the original tab, there's a bit of a change in color there. So I'm gonna copy this right here, and then I'm just gonna go add this same class to these other text elements. And then we're basically ready now to go ahead and add the modal in. So let's do that, go to add. I'm just gonna search for modal. Scroll down here, and then let's go to our heading element. We're just gonna pop this in as terms. And then let's put in a text element that just says, lots of cool legal stuff will live here. And then this modal, I think I had 75 pixels of padding all the way around. And then under the content styles tab, I just said center items horizontally. Okay, so now here is where we're actually going to set the trigger. So in your modal, go to this trigger option, change the show when to user clicks element. And there is this choose option here, but what happens is if you click this, then it's going to choose that unique ID of that particular text element, which will make it so that these don't actually link to, to um, you know, pop up the modal. So what we're gonna do is change this trigger selector to the name of our class, but we need a period in front of it. So it's gonna go period. And then the class over here was called terms trigger. So I'm just gonna copy this, go back to my modal under the trigger tab, and then I'm just gonna paste that in, save this. And then if we go take a look on the front end, I'll refresh real quick. We have our hover dark green like that. And then if I click it, you can see there's that new stuff that we just changed, added that simple text and the centered heading. And you can see I'm just clicking in the background to close this. This also will work on the escape key. And then you can also set the close behavior to be um, automatically after a certain amount of time. You can say close on escape key, yes or no, and then yes or no based on the modal backdrop click. And then you can also add a close button. That's super simple. All you'd need to do is add a little icon and just set the class of oxy close modal. Uh, so there's some other flexibility there, but my point here is just to show you how you can trigger one modal from multiple different elements. And as you can see, it took us less than five minutes to do that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a future video.